We're exploring custom list views in this video and creating something similar to a Trello board, but we're not stopping there. We're going to customize it even further with JSON formatting to make this thing even better. There's also hidden functionality that you may not even know about, so don't miss a second. Let's get into it. I've got a project task list. It's just got a number of different tasks to, uh, to complete a SharePoint migration. Um, so I've got, you know, a few fields here, title, description, status, pretty standard stuff um, as far as lists go. But what I can do is I can turn this into something a lot more useful. So I can go up to the view menu and I can create a new view and I will call this um, task board. And I can pick to show this as a board. What this will do is turn this into a Kanban board. If you're familiar with those types of things like a Trello is a really good example of that. So when I do that, it, it's going to organize this into columns, almost like swim lanes, I guess you could say. But in this case, it'll be based on a status. So I need to organize this by something. I have a status field here, so I'm going to organize this by status. And once this is created, you'll see everything gets dropped into its appropriate column, depending on the status of that thing. You know, things that are already done, identifying the site owners, it's already over here off to the off to the side. Things that I'm currently executing are listed here. Everything is, you know, put into the, the, the right place, including items that don't even have a status yet. Nothing's been assigned. And once this item uh, actually starts to get planned, what I can do is just drag this over to the planning column and it will actually update that. Now, what's interesting is that as you move things from one column to the next, this, this particular view will automatically update the status for that thing. So you see the uh, support phase begin now has a status of planning because I dropped it into that column. I can also add a new bucket here I'll, I'll just use a status status one and what that will do is if we go look into list settings it would have actually updated my status column to now include status one so that that's pretty neat I haven't found all the additional things that this will do just yet but uh, so far it's it's very cool uh, using this thing so let's go back to the task board what I want to do now is uh, customize the card and that's going to let us change what's already on this card uh, in a really easy way so right now i don't want and we can drag this over here so we can see what we're doing i don't want this the description on here i'm going to turn that off um, assigns to this needs to be moved down here and then the status I think is a little redundant because we already have column headings to show the status. So I'm going to turn that off. And um, I think that is going to be good. I'm going to turn off column names, I think, but I'm going to do it a different way. What I'm going to do at this point, now that the card's designed, I could click on advanced mode and we could see the JSON format here. What we want to do is I don't like the title being on this line above. I kind of want it more in line. So I'm going to scroll down. There's definitely a lot of stuff in here, uh, but what I can do is see, I'm already seeing things related to the assigns to field, which appears below it. But if I scroll up a little, I'll see this line right here. This is what adds the actual text value right there. And the way this reads is just, if the title value is equal to a blank string, it just puts a hyphen. Otherwise, it puts the value of title. Well, let's do a more of an inline title heading. So we can just add in title. I think that will do it. Well, uh, just to make sure I have good syntax and everything, I'll hit preview. That looks good. But now we've got a duplicate title thing up here. Now, if I go back to the previous screen and just click off the title heading, what it'll do is update this JSON and replace this customization that I just added. I don't want to do that because I don't, I don't want to have to retype that. But if we scroll up, you will see above this text element, which is actually our title now, there's another element. And this is the heading. And you can see that because the text content for that paragraph node is set to title.displayName. So that's the display name of the title field. So if we just delete this and hit preview, now that title heading is gone. So I like that, it looks a bit cleaner. You could argue that removing title entirely 
might be a bit cleaner because it would be kind of assumed that the first uh, item on this card would be the title. Yeah, I think we'll just leave it off entirely. We can keep the assigns to here just because I could see situations where maybe you might have multiple person or lookup fields on there and maybe you'd want to kind of differentiate what role that person serves on that task. But I think just to add a little bit of separation between the title and that assigns to, I'm going to find the div element that is kind of wrapping around this whole field, both the label and the value. That's going to be this field right here because if that's where our, our title ended, this is going to be where our, our whole title element the div for that where that ended so this is the start of the next div I want to add a little bit of padding to this so I'm going to add a new element to the style attribute so this is basically just adding in an inline CSS style we'll do a margin on the top and we'll just set this to maybe 40 pixels and let's preview this make sure that looks good I think it's a bit much We'll go down to 30. That looks better. So now we'll save this and close this and just give it a refresh, see how everything looks. I like that a lot better. It doesn't take up nearly as much space as it originally did. It gives us more room vertically to see more tasks on each column. And I think that'll do it for this demo. On the next demo, I'm going to cover the gallery. There's some more stuff that we can do with JSON formatting, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.